In this video we'll take a look at relays. A relay is used to manage power so it can remotely control a large amount of power with a small amount of power. And relays are made up of two parts. There's a control side. This is the part that controls the relay. This is made up of a winding or coil. Uh, this coil has a resistance of about 50 to 50 to 120 ohms. So if you do your math with Ohm's Law, you'll find that uh, the typical automotive relay uh, will allow about 100 to 200 milliamps of flow. This flow of current creates a magnetic field which pulls the switch shut. As a matter of fact, a lot of Asian manufacturers call a relay a magnetic switch. There's uh, either 4-pin relays and 5-pin relays. The 4-pin relay comes in two flavors. Now, you are normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. Now, normal, the normal state of a relay is non-energized. So, when a relay is drawn in a schematic, it's drawn as though there's no current to go in here. So, normal means not energized. So, in this case, since these contacts are shown open, this is a normally closed 4-pin relay or an NO relay. And then, they also make this relay available with this switch post against the post on this side so it would uh, actually be closed until the magnetic field pulls it open that would be called a normally closed 4-pin relay. Remember too with a control circuit of the relay this is around 100-150 uh, milliamps and then the power side which controls actual current to the load whether it be horns, fans, uh, any number of loads which could probably go up to around 30 amps no problem. There also is a 5-pin relay available for some applications that control circuit as usual. But the power side or the uh, the switch side looks like a single pole double through switch. You can bring power in on pin 5, then 5-4 would be normally closed and 5-3 is normally open. You energize it, this will swing over and then close 5-3. You'll find both of these relays used in the automotive business. So let's take and uh, go to our, our lab here. Uh, this module or this uh, trainer board uses J module as our five pin relay. It's like here. And down here I've identified that red and black are coil. Same thing here, one, two. And our blue wire is our uh, same as five. So blue, yellow is normally open and blue, green is normally closed. So we're going to just do a simple circuit here. Let's bring in and start with our control side. So we'll bring power in through a fuse and come off of a switch here for the whole project. And we'll come in. We'll come into our switch, a push button momentary switch. And then we'll go through the winding. And I'll color code this. It doesn't really matter, but I'll show you that red is power or 12 volts and then we'll go past the load it will become a ground so we'll go to black for that now at this point I've wired in the the uh, control circuit we're going through a momentary push button switch which is a control for the relay and then the relays load which is the winding red black to ground and now when I push the switch there's a click and when it really energizes you can hear it and you can feel it and that's actually a legit diagnostic step to uh, you know, determine that it really energize. So this is our control circuit. It's complete. Now this is called a power controlled relay because on the power side, the red part, there's power from the 12 volt tap to here. So we have the switch on this side. We could put the switch on this side it will be called a ground controlled relay. So let's bring in our actual circuit that's going to carry the current. Bring power in to the blue wire and then we will uh, come off the yellow so it will be normally open into the light and then complete our circuit. And now we've, uh, this is the power side. We've brought power in to the blue wire, which is the equivalent of five over here. 
we're using a normally open set of contacts. So this part of the relay uh, fashions or, or operates like a switch. From here we're going to go to our load and load the ground. Now when we energize relay, we see the load come on, the, the marker light come on. So in summary what's going on here is the current for the marker light is not going through the control circuit. The control circuit, which uh, is going to be about 100, 150 milliamps, and then the power for the marker light, which is relatively small, but remember this marker light is represented, representing a load. The marker light could be a significant load up to 20 or 30 amps on a standard automotive relay. So in summary, a relay is used to manage power. It allows to control large amounts of power remotely with small amounts of power. And uh, that's a wrap.